Hey everybody, uh, just kind of continuing on here with my French kick. Uh, turns out I am on a French kick after all, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, I want to talk about a film from 59 called Pickpocket. And it was written and directed by Robert Bresson, or R Robert Bresson is how uh, Americans would pronounce it. And he's kind of part of this whole French New Wave period that was coming out uh, in the 60s. The film was made in 59, and along with Truffaut and, uh, you know, guys like that, uh, Bresson's kind of credited as coming out of this uh, French New Wave period. And the Italians had their neorealism period, and a lot of stuff was going on in, in, in Swedish film with, with Bergman and stuff. So, uh, you know, just another... Uh, coined phrase to describe what was going on in France, okay, the uh, French New Wave period. So there you go. Now, uh, Pickpocket's a very good film, and I've heard it criticized quite a bit for uh, the lack of emotion. People call it an empty film, uh, that it's void of a lot of feeling, and the lead character, the actor, has been criticized as, as being a, a poor actor, and and granted, he was a newbie, but that was kind of Brasson's style, okay, was to get non-actors uh, into his roles, and the character in Pickpocket uh, is very deadpan, and this is all intentional, and I think people misunderstand uh, kind of what Brisson was trying to do here in, in this film. Now, the story is pretty basic, okay? It's about a pickpocket. So there you go, hence the name. And this guy just does a little stint in jail. He gets out, and he's having trouble uh, adapting to normal society. He, he does not want to be a part of normal society. So he takes up pickpocketing and he starts honing his skill and practicing this craft. He even uh, gets hooked up with some other pickpockets who show him uh, all the tricks of the trade and the little scams and, and they start partnering up and, and pulling these little uh, thefts. And all the while this character is very deadpan. He does not show emotion. The film is very stripped down. It doesn't use music, which was which was huge back then. I mean, it uses a little bit of music, but uh, back in the 50s and stuff, music was uh, the primary center for guiding uh, emotion and feeling. Okay, the directors and filmmakers could always use music to to make something suspenseful or to make something sad or etc. And uh, Brisson doesn't do this. Okay, it's very stripped down, but he does this for a reason. You see, the character—he almost views himself as superior to the society, and this is the way that he justifies what he's doing. Okay, and he's a very distant character uh, for this reason. He cannot really carry on normal interpersonal relationships. Uh, he kind of thinks he's above it all. And he justifies his behavior, uh, you know, his his thievery with, with that kind of uh, mental construct. And he has to distance himself uh, e emotionally to, to separate himself from his actions and, and to justify it. And that's kind of what uh, Bresson is doing here with the film. And it took me a little bit to kind of think about the presentation of this film, but then it starts to make a lot of sense because the film is presented in a way that, that, that is a detachment. Okay, and, and that is exactly what the character must do to carry on his, uh, y you know, state of mind and justify what he's doing. So extremely well done here. Um, and he has to, you know, kind of maintain an anonymous type of, uh, of presence, uh, especially in the streets when he's taking on these uh, pickpockets. So uh, very well done here. I would have to see this film again before calling it great. But uh, I have to say this is a pretty damn good film. So check out Pickpocket. All right, everybody. Take care.